Hi, uh, I'm trying a different venue right now. We're trying to see, uh, trying to see my laptop seems to have the fan going. I didn't realize it because the laundry's going in in Barcelona. It's a little noisy. You'll hear it in the background. Uh, and I want to see if there's a more high quality way to get these videos out to you so there's not distracting things in the background except for me and my bullshit. But uh, we were flying to uh, Barcelona down here the other day on a Vueling Airlines, V-E-U-L-I-N-G, very nice little airline. Uh, discount airline but uh, civilized. Uh, it's not like the uh, Oh, I'm not going to even name them, the ones that aren't civilized. If you've flown them, you know what I mean, and uh, they're just not fun. You get a, they give you a seat to sit in and uh, an assigned seat so you don't have to elbow other pa patient travelers out of the way. But uh, I was sitting with my 11-year-old, and we got talking, and she was uh, asking me certain things. And uh, so we just got time to talk about, uh, and she said, have you ever flown an airplane? And I said, yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, when I was a doctor, I decided that it would be a good idea for me to get my uh, private pilot's license. And uh, my dad had tried it and quit, and we never really talked about why he had done that, uh, why he hadn't gone through with it. And one of my patients was a pilot, uh, Bob Harris. Hi, Bob, if you're out there. I don't know whether you still even exist anymore. Uh, but uh, I said, you know, can we make some trades? Because uh, would you teach me to pilot an airplane? And we went up, uh, one day we went down to Laporte, Texas. I was with a friend of mine, uh, Bob, and a friend of mine, a girlfriend of mine from Canada. And uh, he, we landed at this little airport in Laporte, Texas, and he said, come here for a minute, to her. He got out of the airplane. And uh, he said, uh, here. And uh, so I said, what are you guys doing? He said, just a minute, just a minute, relax. He said, now get out of here. He said, what I said? He said, go up and come back down. I said, huh? He said, come back, go, and I said, no, 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 I'm not ready to do this. He said, yeah, yeah. He said, I'm sure, I'm the teacher, you're the student. I'm sure that you're ready to do this. Uh, so I uh, did my solo flight, and uh, I was uh, nervous, and there was another airplane that kept with doing their solo flight, and I kept not seeing them and wondering where they were and whether I was going to land on them or not. So, but uh, a couple of weeks later, I went out, and I was going through my checklist, and I missed something on the checklist, and we went up and uh, flew around, and I learned some more things, and uh, then the next day that I went up, I, but I went through the checklist and I missed something. And the next day I went up, I went through the checklist and I missed the same thing. And, and Bob was sitting there and, and uh, he said, you've missed something. And so I looked at what I missed and I gave the airplane some gas and I pushed on the left rudder pedal and turned the plane 180. And he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going back to the hangar. And I said, I'm done doing this. And he said, um, you just missed one thing. I said, Bob, I missed the same thing last week. But fortunately, both the things that I've missed, I've missed while I'm on the ground. And I've missed them while you're here. I said, but if I'm going to be missing things like this, simple little things, if I'm going to overlook them, because when I became a doctor, I learned to speed, read, and scan, and, and uh, I would skip over things. I said, I don't want to do that. I don't want to skip over things. I don't have what it takes to be a pilot. And I quit. And I'm glad I did. I'm still on the planet. Uh, uh, I don't know if I would have uh, met my demise in an airplane. Apparently not. A friend of mine did. Uh, in a plane they call the Doctor Killer, oddly enough. Uh, so that was my foray into the flying adventure. Uh, and I just thought I would share that with you. www.mic peak performance. Uh, part of it is knowing yourself, knowing when to quit something that uh, could endanger your life. peakperformance.com